Hello guys, this is Dr. Karaki. In this video, we will solve an exercise on protein sequencing. If we want to sequence amino acids in our protein, the first step is to break down that protein into small fragments. Once the peptide is broken into small fragments by using proteolytic enzymes, we can then isolate the fragments and take each fragment aside and use admin degradation on it to determine what is the sequence of that smaller fragment is. Now to find the correct order of the different fragments, we have to use two or more proteolytic enzymes to produce different sets of fragments. And then we can use the overlapping regions in those fragments to determine what the sequence is. Suppose you have a purified protein that consists of seven amino acids, two methionine, one aspartic acid, arginine, lysine, phenylalanine, and glycine. Now your goal is basically to find out the, the, what is the exact sequence of amino acid in that given protein by conducting the following ex, uh, reactions. First, the reaction of the heptapeptide with dinitrofluorobenzene gave DNP methionine. The DNFB is used to determine the N-terminal amino acid. It reacts with the free amino group and uh, it yields in this exercise DNP methionine. So the N-terminal amino acid, which is the first amino acid in this peptide, is methionine. In the second reaction, the heptapeptide was subjected to a limited proteolysis with carboxypeptidase A and methionine was the first amino acid released. Carboxypeptidase A is used to determine the C-terminal amino acid. It cleaves all C-terminal amino acid except arginine, lysine, and proline, provided that the amino acid preceding the last one is not proline. The result of this experiment indicate that methionine is the C-terminal amino acid. In the third reaction, cyanogen bromide reacts with heptapeptide and release one equivalent of free methionine. Cyanogen bromide cleaves specifically on the carboxyl end of methionine residues. If cutting after methionine, release a methionine, so it must be the first amino acid. And we already knew that from before. So we have now the first amino acid and the last one are methionine. Next, the heptapeptide is subjected to chymotrypsin digestion and yielded a pentapeptide and a dipeptide. Then, the reaction of the pentapeptide with densyl chloride gave densyl methionine. First of all, you need to know that chymotrypsin is an endopeptidase that cleave a peptide bond after or on the carboxyl end of phenylalanine, tyrosine, and tryptophan. In this exercise, it will cleave after phenylalanine provided that the next amino acid is not proline. The peptide subjected to chymotrypsin yielded a pentapeptide, 5 amino acid, and a dipeptide, 2 amino acids. So we have two possibilities for chymotrypsin cutting after phenylalanine. This one or this one. This aromatic amino acid could be either the fifth amino acid or the second one, depending on the possibility. But the second sentence in the given can lead us toward the correct possibility. Treating the pentapeptide with densyl chloride gave densyl methionine. And since densyl chloride is used to determine the N-terminal amino acid, so the first amino acid in the pentapeptide is methionine. Thus, the correct possibility is the first one because it starts with methionine and phenylalanine is the fifth amino acid in this heptapeptide. Next, the heptapeptide is subjected to trypsin digestion and yielded two methionine containing tripeptides and a free arginine. First, trypsin is an endopeptidase that cleaves the peptide bond on the carboxyl end or after the positively charged amino acid lysine and arginine, provided that the next one is not proline. In this heptapeptide, we have both arginine and lysine. So cutting after them must yield two tripeptides, 
two fragments of three amino acids containing methionine. So this fragment must be this one or this and this one. Both contains three amino acids and both contains methionine. So the cleavage sites must be here and here. Since trypsin cleaves on the carboxyl end, which means after lysine and arginine. This means that these two amino acids could be here or here. Now, to determine the exact position of these two amino acids, we need to read again the given. Trypsin digestion yielded two methionine containing tripeptide and a free arginine. So we, when we cut after these two amino acids, a free arginine is released. So we have an arginine in the fourth position, and thus lysine will be in the third position. Finally, the heptapeptide is subjected to a digestion with pepsin. Pepsin is an endopeptidase that gives a peptide bond on the amino side, which means before phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan, and leucine. In this case, it will, it will cleave on the amino side before phenylalanine. So it will yield a tetrapeptide containing methionine, lysine, arginine, and aspartic acid. So the missing amino acid in the second position is aspartic acid. And a tripeptide containing methionine, phenylalanine, and glycine. So the amino acid in the sixth position is glycine. And thus the peptide sequence is methionine, aspartic acid, lysine, arginine, phenylalanine, glycine, and methionine. And that's how we solve such an exercise. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please like and subscribe.